And welcome to The Union Show. I'm Phil Cleary. And as always, it's great to have you with us here on The Union Show. Now, Mary Blewett is well known to you all. She's in a major blue with the state government over teachers' pay and conditions. And I caught up with her the other day for a very interesting interview. The state government's playing hardball with education. We all know $10,000 more for teachers in New South Wales. Mm. How is it going? The campaign in terms of the response of, of, of the members is, has been phenomenal. Um, we've had uh, from November uh, through to February, three months, over 5,000 um, teachers and principals join the union to be part of the campaign. Mm. It certainly resonated. It's about the money, it certainly is. It, sure. It's not fair or right that you can earn $10,000 more. Uh, in, uh, in New South Wales. It's also not right that in what is um, the, the Premier goes out and lords as the best performing um, public education system that we're the lowest funded and the lowest paid. But it's also about the future of the profession because uh, one of the other key issues is the high level of contract employment. And because of the, the pay, because of the demonising of the profession yeah. by politicians yeah. at state and federal level and because of the lack of security, uh, people are concerned about the future of the profession, having people to replace people like me when we go. I think that um, teachers as a profession um, have been exploited. Some people might ask how it is that state schools do less well than private schools. What do you say to those who run those arguments? Well, firstly, there's n nothing universal, um, universally the same about the um, public school system, and even less so in the non-government sector. It is not hard if your parents are paying $20,000 uh, more that, and, and a school is, uh, is well resourced, and I can pick and choose mm. who I'm going to have in my school, it's not that hard to get good results for students from that sort of uh, a, a background. Um, what is much harder is to take all comers as the public education system uh, does and to ensure that you are able to tailor an education for each and every one of those individuals uh, with the backgrounds that they, 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 they bring. I, I'm enormously proud of what public uh, schools do. Uh, with the resources they're, they're, they're given um, and, um, and I think there's also enormous social value in having a, um, a strong public, um, uh, public education system because we are the melting pot. Um, uh, the, the strength of the multiculturalism uh, of, of Australian society owes a lot to public education. Well, John Brumby is a former teacher. I mean, he did go to a private school, of course. Um, are you frustrated with him? Do you really want to give him a dressing down or a talking to him? I mean, he won't go to the table with you, of course, and the minister as well. You must be at a point where there's deep friction. I share the anger and frustration of teachers and principals. I mean, this he, he has been a teacher. Uh, he was a union, teacher union mm. official for a, a period of time. People expect him to understand the justness of, of, of our, our cause and our claim. Um, he's also added to that ex expectation because when he came, became Premier, the first things he said was that education would continue to be his government's mm. number one priority and that he wanted to be remembered as the education Premier. And people, therefore, had expectations of him in the role that have been dashed in, in, in the last six months. Our claim is, is certainly an uh, affordable one. But this government has also got a lot out of its teachers. I mean, in, since our last agreement, we've had a raft of government initiatives that teachers and principals are, in, are involving in a lot, lot more work have implemented 
be, because they support some of those 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 changes. Uh, we've had to implement an entirely new curriculum, the Victorian Essential uh, Learning Standards, uh, a, a new report card. Um, we're the lowest funded. We get good results. We've got the highest to Year 12 retention rates. People are saying, you know, surely we're worth more. We do a, a darn fine job with the, 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 the lowest funding that, of any state or territory. Why do you have to be so mean as to pay your teachers the, 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 the least of any other state or territory? So will you win it? Uh, look, in the end, we have to come to a, 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 an outcome. At the moment, I don't get the sense as to where that's going to be. You want 10%? Uh, 10%. If I cut through to the, the, the chase, what we have to have is a competitive salary, right. which means parity with New South Wales or something that, that a, 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 approximate. That's pretty much close to the, the, the bottom line. I, you know, I think it would be fairer, given that we're the lowest funded and the, the best performing uh, state, that we also had the highest paid uh, teachers, but, but pay parity with New South Wales in terms of stopping the drain of, uh, of teachers across the border to other, other states and territories is a reasonable start and will go the next round, the next DBA, to be the best paid in Australia. Well, Mary and the teachers are clearly committed to winning this blue with the Brumby government and why shouldn't they be committed given the discrepancy between their conditions and those in New South Wales? We'll talk more with Mary later in the program. But after the break, we talk to some key union leaders, including Dean Mile, about their relationship with the Labor government. Mm -hmm. 